guys, I am going to be talking about how to groom yourself as an elegant lady, how to represent yourself. Uh, so I have some tips uh, to give you and how we are going to be learning to always be a classy and elegant lady. So I'll see you in a minute. sweet friends on YouTube, Clarissa here. I am back with another video and this is a continuation of how to maintain yourself elegant. We're going to be talking about etica, elegance, how to be classy and uh, so this video is going to be about how to groom yourself as an elegant classy lady. So we're going to start um, with the hair. Okay so there are so many styles of hair, uh, so many uh, haircuts that will be good uh, for different type of a woman. I, my preference is long hair, but um, also having the hair here down to the shoulders is good. It, it is very elegant. Short hair all depends uh, of the shape of your face uh, and if it's done. Um, correctly uh, then it will be um, appropriate uh, not a haircut like looks like a boy uh, so a good haircut that will be very feminine and uh, attractive also um, make sure your hair is well conditioned uh, your hair has no split ends uh, your hair is no dry and brittle uh, because that could be very unclassy and um, make sure your hair is shiny very well taken care and that's why I suggest for you to take vitamins uh, especially the vitamins of B complex extra biotin uh, 10,000 micrograms which I take every day and um, a protein which provides the amino acids uh, to um, to maintain your hair uh, in, in a good shape because uh, the hair shaft your hair is made of uh, amino acids especially uh, you know uh, the protein keratin and MSM uh, <clears throat> will help MSM uh, or um, organic sulfur will help to maintain the integrity of the hair shaft uh, and the integrity of the keratin. So I am going to, uh, you know, do the suggestions uh, of elegance and grooming yourself, uh, combining with a little advice of what to take internally. Uh, okay, so now what about our faces, right? Our skin, our body. Okay, our skin needs to be taken care of accordingly to the type of skin according how your skin uh, is damaged, uh, the level of uh, the damage uh, that had occurred in your skin. So you may have to take more action, uh, more um, anti-aging and advanced um, skin care as well as nutrition to enhance uh, the maintenance of the skin to enhance the the plumpiness, uh, the dewy skin. Uh, a, a dry skin, flaky skin, it's very uh, unclassy, not elegant. So try to do your best to um, take care of your skin externally and internally. Externally using, uh, you know, serums, face, face oils, um, moisturizers, um, facial masks, and uh, because uh, this channel, uh, usually my viewers are mature uh, viewers, um, I recommend that you will take care of your skin with anti-aging advanced skin care. And also when it comes to nutrition, take your uh, lipids, uh, take your um, good quality collagen, take your protein, amino acids, take your B-complex, take your uh, trace minerals, 
uh, take uh, your electrolytes because uh, when the, uh, the body is lacking uh, electrolytes and all the nutrients that I mentioned, uh, your skin is going to be dull. Your skin is going to be dry. Your skin is not going to be vibrant. Uh, uh, elegant lady, it's always vibrant. It's always polished and refined. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about our body. So our body, uh, taking care, uh, like I said, internally, but uh, working out, you know, you need to work out in order to maintain the skin tone um, of your body. And you don't want sagging arms, very unclassy, uh, that's not a lady like you you want to be like a timeless classy elegant polite lady and um, not just for the benefit of yourselves but also um, you know uh, you being an inspiration uh, to others and so working out uh, skin brushing uh, exfoliating your skin uh, taking uh, the nutrients that you need to take for workout like uh, electrolyte powders, um, uh, uh, BCAs uh, when you are working out, protein, amino acids and so on. So very important that your face will match your body um, because if you have just your face uh, looking good and uh, your body is not looking good and your hair is not looking good, it's, it's not attractive and it's not elegant. And also, let's talk about the nails. You know, have your, um, your nails very well manicured. Uh, I prefer short nails. Uh, I can't stand the long, long, huge nails. Uh, they are so unclassy. Huge, long nails. Uh, it's not very classy. And so, besides, because of the type of work I do, I have to work with patients. I have to maintain my nails short and I usually use a clear nail polish. Uh, sometimes you, you will see me with nail polish, color nail polish, but not all the time. So once you maintain your skin, not, uh, the skin of your hands nice and hydrated, um, you, your nails well manicured, uh, not necessarily you have to use a color nail polish, but once it's good, um, manicured and it is in a good condition uh, it's very attractive the same thing your toenails uh, the toenails need needs to be so polished uh, to the maximum especially summertime no uh, flaky thick skin around your feet that is so unattractive no good uh, no elegant and so I treat my feet like I treat the rest of my skin. Um, I, my, my nails, um, toenails, excuse me, are also short. And so uh, very well hydrated. Uh, so when you wear sandals, um, you know, classy, elegant sandals, uh, then it's going to look good. It's going to look elegant. Another issue that we're going to be talking about is makeup. Okay, so makeup, it's very important that you use neutral colors and that you use a soft makeup, a soft appearance. Uh, too much makeup in mature woman does not look good because the skin is aging and it will emphasize uh, the wrinkles. And uh, when it comes to eyeshadows, never use like deep purple color or deep red or deep orange. I have seen girls using that, uh, you know, deep, deep red. I saw it yesterday, very unclassy. Uh, there is no elegance in that whatsoever. So a soft makeup, um, do your eyebrows and uh, some blush, uh, a little bit of illumination. Um, Contouring the skin, um, your face, uh, like I have seen in some videos, 
that deep contouring it's so unclassy it's it's not natural it's not realistic so i don't contour um if i contour it will be very mild but i prefer not to do it so just uh like i said a uh, um soft blush uh illumination neutral colors uh, on your eyes you could even use like um I'm mixing uh, like uh, light brown with a little bit of peach color and, and your eyelids the way I have it and um, heavy um, false eyelashes very unclassy um, if you use uh, false eyelashes try to use uh, a very natural um, false eyelashes are very natural looking false eyelashes I don't use false eyelashes uh, just the mascara and so try to concentrate on having a soft makeup a natural looking soft makeup uh, and on the other hand um, you know if you don't wear makeup if you're not used to wear makeup have your skin well conditioned uh, have your skin well treated with treatments and uh, facial oils, um, serums, uh, masks, uh, face creams, uh, if you don't like to wear makeup. So, but a little bit of makeup, uh, it's good, you know, it, it's, it's attractive. And um, another um, a factor or issue that we're going to be talking about is the tanning. Um, some girls, uh, they go overloaded with the tanning to the point that they look orange. That's so unclassy, uh, very um, uh, not pleasant to the eye. It's not good. And so, but others, because they have been uh, exposed to the sun for so many years, the skin had become like leather. And uh, that is so unclassy, no good, because the skin has not been treated uh, prior to going to the sun or after going to the sun. So uh, the skin had dried so much that it is impossible to reverse because of the accumulation of free radicals, uh, the damage of the sun and uh, causing severe dehydration it's very unattractive to see a dry flaky skin and so uh, when you go to the sun you have to um, treat your skin uh, the night before with facial masks hydration facial masks or, uh, and also your body if possible take a bath and and and, and do a, a, a body mask uh, and then after the sun, the same thing, you need to treat your skin to prevent the dehydration. So uh, I don't go to the sun. Um, I, I was one time, I remember clear, uh, I was an exchange student in California. And um, I saw my American sisters um, getting the tan, uh, laying down in the sun. And my mother already had told me, don't do that. But, you know, being a teenager, I said, I'm just going to do it one time. That one time, I was burned. I had to sleep sitting down. I was, my shoulders were, like, practically almost bleeding. Um, so, I, I, you know, I, that's the only time I did. And, and so I, I have never done it um, again, never again. I was just curious I was just a teenager but the sun is really damaging and um, the sun um, when you're exposed for short periods of time it's good um, because you need the vitamin D but to be for long hours uh, I don't advise that so remember if you go tiny you have to um, treat your skin the day before and after um, coming from the sun 
you also have to treat your skin to prevent the damage. I am going to just give you a little tip about how to dress. Winter is coming, so just one tip and I will continue in the next video. <clears throat> Let's talk about scarves and belts. Okay, so scarves are a nice touch, right, for uh, enhancing your outfit. The same thing belts uh, like this one here came with the outfit. This is a Gucci um, dress and uh, it's just a nice touch to um, to optimize uh, the elegance of your outfit. And so uh, now also uh, pocketbooks, you know, try to have a, a, a pocketbook or purse um, I don't know how you call it, I call it pocketbook. Um, very well clean, uh, not raggedy or old, that is very unclassy. Um, try to um, just enhance, like, uh, have you seen some pocketbooks that have those scarves, like this one here. This, this one here has this little scarf like this. And it just gives a nice touch um, to the elegance of the pocketbook. For example, this bag right here will be like for an evening bag, uh, for an event. Uh, this is a, a limited edition Chanel that I just got it. Uh, we went shopping with my son and I'm just in love with it. I love the design in the front and um, this is a very, very elegant, um, uh, you know, evening bag with uh, a pair of, uh, for example, Louis Vuitton shoes, or you don't have to have Louis Vuitton, but a good, elegant pair of shoes. So I'll be back with more videos and uh, teach you more, teach you what my mother taught me. My mother was uh, such a elegant, um, such a glamorous woman and, and her sister, the same thing. I learned a lot with them since I was a child. And um, for the ones that don't know, uh, I grew up in a home that, um, you know, style, fashion was emphasized, mostly nutrition. And um, my parents put me in an Etika school. And so I am sharing all the the information to you guys um, and I will be mixing the videos uh, with uh, skincare and nutrition. other uh, videos about elegance and etiquette. My sweet friends, I would like to introduce my son Silas, my lovely handsome son that I love him so much. Uh, I have only one child and uh, he is a blessing to me. Um, an incredible blessing. Uh, he's a gentle-hearted, a kind person and most of all he loves the Lord. Hello, <clears throat> my name is Silas Patterson. I'm a minister for Universal Reconciliation, which means I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ will save all ultimately, although the wicked will be destroyed in between. But there is no eternal torment. If you'd like to find out more, just Google Yah or uh, excuse me, Google. Universal Reconciliation. And Mother, my precious Mother of Israel, I thank you so much for having me on this show that you host here on YouTube. And I thank the audience, those who are dedicated out there, to uh, the dedication and the passion that my mother has. I really appreciate it. She really tries to break it down into an art and a science. Again, I thank you all, and it is nice meeting you. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.